Austin is the capital of the U.S. state of Texas and the seat of Travis County, with portions extending into Hayes and Williamson counties. It is the 11th most populous city in the United States and the 4th most populous city in Texas. It is also the fastest growing large city in the United States, the second most populous state capital after Phoenix, Arizona, and the southernmost state capital in the contiguous United States. As of the U.S. Census Bureau's August 1, 2018 estimate, Austin had a population of 967,629 up from 790,491 at the 2010 census. The city is the cultural and economic center of the Austin Round Rock Metropolitan Statistical Area, which had an estimated population of 2,056,405 as of July 1, 2016. Located in central Texas within the greater Texas Hill Country, it is home to numerous lakes, rivers, and waterways, including Lady Bird Lake and Lake Travis on the Colorado River, Barton Springs, McKinney Falls, and Lake Walter E. Long. In the 1830s, pioneers began to settle the area in central Austin along the Colorado River. In 1839, the site was chosen to replace Houston as the capital of the Republic of Texas and was incorporated under the name Waterloo. Shortly afterward, the name was changed to Austin in honor of Stephen F. Austin, the father of Texas and the Republic's first Secretary of State. The city grew throughout the 19th century and became a center for government and education with the construction of the Texas State Capitol and the University of Texas at Austin. After a severe lull in economic growth from the Great Depression, Austin resumed its steady development, and by the 1990s it emerged as a center for technology and business. A number of Fortune 500 companies have headquarters or regional offices in Austin including, 3M, Amazon.com, Apple Inc., Cisco, eBay, General Motors, Google, IBM, Intel, Oracle Corporation, PayPal, Texas Instruments, and Whole Foods Market. Dell's worldwide headquarters is located in nearby Round Rock, a suburb of Austin. Residents of Austin are known as Austinites. They include a diverse mix of government employees, college students, musicians, high-tech workers, blue-collar workers, and a vibrant LGBT community. The city's official slogan promotes Austin as the live music capital of the world, a reference to the city's many musicians and live music venues, as well as the long-running PBS TV concert series Austin City Limits. The city also adopted Silicon Hills as a nickname in the 1990s due to a rapid influx of technology and development companies. In recent years, some Austinites have adopted the unofficial slogan, Keep Austin Weird, which refers to the desire to protect small, unique, and local businesses from being overrun by large corporations. In the late 19th century, Austin was known as the City of the Violet Crown, because of the colorful glow of light across the hills just after sunset. Even today, many Austin businesses use the term Violet Crown in their name. Austin is known as a clean air city for its stringent no smoking ordinances that apply to all public places and buildings, including restaurants and bars. U.S. News and World Report named Austin the number one place to live in the U.S. for 2017 and 2018. In 2016, Forbes ranked Austin number one on its Cities of the Future list, then in 2017 placed the city at that same position on its list for the next biggest boom town in the U.S. Also in 2017, Forbes awarded the South River City neighborhood of Austin its number two ranking for best cities and neighborhoods for millennials. WalletHub named Austin the number six best place in the country to live for 2017. The FBI ranked Austin as the number two safest major city in the U.S. for 2012. Topic. History Austin, Travis County and Williamson County have been the site of human habitation since at least 9200 BC. The area's earliest known inhabitants lived during the late Pleistocene Ice Age and are linked to the Clovis culture around 9200 BC 11,200 years ago, based on evidence found throughout the area and documented at the much-studied Galt site, midway between Georgetown and Fort Hood, when settlers arrived from Europe, the Tonkawa tribe inhabited the area. The Comanches and Lipan Apaches were also known to travel through the area. Spanish colonists, including the Espinosa Olivares Aguirre expedition, traveled through the area for centuries, though few permanent settlements were created for some time. In 1730, three missions from East Texas were combined and re-established as one mission on the south side of the Colorado River, in what is now Zilker Park, in Austin. 
The mission was in this area for only about seven months, and then was moved to San Antonio de Bexar and split into three missions. Early in the 19th century, Spanish forts were established in what are now Bastrop and San Marcos. Following Mexico's independence, new settlements were established in central Texas, but growth in the region was stagnant because of conflicts with the regional Native Americans. In 1835 to 1836, Texans fought and won independence from Mexico. Texas thus became an independent country with its own president, Congress, and monetary system. After Vice President Mirabeau B. Lamar visited the area during a buffalo hunting expedition between 1837 and 1838, he proposed that the Republic's capital, then in Houston, be relocated to the area situated on the north bank of the Colorado River, near the present-day Congress Avenue Bridge. In 1839, the Texas Congress formed a commission to seek a site for a new capital to be named for Stephen F. Austin. Mirabeau B. Lamar, second president of the newly formed Republic of Texas, advised the commissioners to investigate the area named Waterloo, noting the area's hills, waterways, and pleasant surroundings. Waterloo was selected, and Austin was chosen as the town's new name. The location was seen as a convenient crossroads for trade routes between Santa Fe and Galveston Bay, as well as routes between northern Mexico and the Red River. Edwin Waller was picked by Lamar to survey the village and draft a plan laying out the new capital. The original site was narrowed to 640 acres 260 hectares that fronted the Colorado River between two creeks, Shoal Creek and Waller Creek, which was later named in his honor. The 14-block grid plan was bisected by a broad north-south thoroughfare, Congress Avenue, running up from the river to Capitol Square, where the new Texas state capitol was to be constructed. A temporary one-story capitol was erected on the corner of Colorado and 8th Streets. On August 1, 1839, the first auction of 217 out of 306 lots total was held. The grid plan Waller designed and surveyed now forms the basis of downtown Austin. In 1840, a series of conflicts between the Texas Rangers and the Comanches, known as the Council House Fight and the Battle of Plum Creek, pushed the Comanches westward, mostly ending conflicts in central Texas. Settlement in the area began to expand quickly. Travis County was established in 1840, and the surrounding counties were mostly established within the next two decades. Initially, the new capital thrived. But Lamar's political enemy, Sam Houston, used two Mexican army incursions to San Antonio as an excuse to move the government. Sam Houston fought bitterly against Lamar's decision to establish the capital in such a remote wilderness. The men and women who traveled mainly from Houston to conduct government business were intensely disappointed as well. By 1840, the population had risen to 856, of whom nearly half fled from Austin when Congress recessed. The resident African American population listed in January of this same year was 176. The fear of Austin's proximity to the Indians and Mexico, which still considered Texas a part of their land, created an immense motive for Sam Houston, the first and third president of the Republic of Texas, to relocate the capital once again in 1841. Upon threats of Mexican troops in Texas, Houston raided the land office to transfer all official documents to Houston for safekeeping in what was later known as the Archive War, but the people of Austin would not allow this unaccompanied decision to be executed. The documents stayed, but the capital would temporarily move from Austin to Houston to Washington on the Brazos. Without the governmental body, Austin's population declined to a low of only a few hundred people throughout the early 1840s. The voting by the fourth president of the Republic, Anson Jones, and Congress, who reconvened in Austin in 1845, settled the issue to keep Austin the seat of government, as well as annex the Republic of Texas into the United States. In 1860, 38% of Travis County residents were slaves. In 1861, with the outbreak of the American Civil War, voters in Austin and other Central Texas communities voted against secession. However, as the war progressed and fears of attack by Union forces increased, Austin contributed hundreds of men to the Confederate forces. The African-American population of Austin swelled dramatically after the enforcement of the Emancipation Proclamation in Texas by Union General Gordon Granger at Galveston, in an event commemorated as Juneteenth. Black communities such as Wheatville, Pleasant Hill, and Clarksville were established, with Clarksville being the oldest surviving freedom town, the original post-Civil War settlements founded by former African-American slaves, west of the Mississippi River. In 1870, blacks made up 36.5% of Austin's population. 
The post-war period saw dramatic population and economic growth. The opening of the Houston and Texas Central Railway in 1871 turned Austin into the major trading center for the region, with the ability to transport both cotton and cattle. The Missouri, Kansas and Texas line followed close behind. Austin was also the terminus of the southernmost leg of the Chisholm Trail, and drovers pushed cattle north to the railroad. Cotton was one of the few crops produced locally for export, and a cotton gin engine was located downtown near the trains for ginning cotton of its seeds and turning the product into bales for shipment. However, as other new railroads were built through the region in the 1870s, Austin began to lose its primacy in trade to the surrounding communities. In addition, the areas east of Austin took over cattle and cotton production from Austin, especially in towns like Hutto and Taylor that sit over the Blackland Prairie, with its deep, rich soils for producing cotton and hay. In September 1881, Austin public schools held their first classes. The same year, Tillotson Collegiate and Normal Institute, now part of Houston Tillotson University, opened its doors. The University of Texas held its first classes in 1883, although classes had been held in the original wooden state capital for four years before. During the 1880s, Austin gained new prominence as the state capitol building was completed in 1888 and claimed as the seventh largest building in the world. In the late 19th century, Austin expanded its city limits to more than three times its former area, and the first granite dam was built on the Colorado River to power a new streetcar line and the new Moon Towers. Unfortunately, the first dam washed away in a flood on April 7, 1900. In the 1920s and 1930s, Austin launched a series of civic development and beautification projects that created much of the city's infrastructure and many of its parks. In addition, the state legislature established the Lower Colorado River Authority (LCRA) that, along with the city of Austin, created the system of dams along the Colorado River to form the Highland Lakes. These projects were enabled in large part because the Public Works Administration provided Austin with greater funding for municipal construction projects than other Texas cities. During the early 20th century, a three way system of social segregation emerged in Austin, with Anglos, African Americans, and Mexicans being separated by custom or law in most aspects of life, including housing, health care, and education. Many of the municipal improvement programs initiated during this period, such as the construction of new roads, schools, and hospitals, were deliberately designed to institutionalize this system of segregation. Deed restrictions also played an important role in residential segregation. After 1935 most housing deeds prohibited African Americans and sometimes other non-white groups from using land. Combined with the system of segregated public services, racial segregation increased in Austin during the first half of the 20th century, with African Americans and Mexicans experiencing high levels of discrimination and social marginalization. In 1940, the destroyed granite dam on the Colorado River was finally replaced by a hollow concrete dam that formed Lake McDonald, now called Lake Austin, and which has withstood all floods since. In addition, the much larger Mansfield Dam was built by the LCRA upstream of Austin to form Lake Travis, a flood control reservoir. In the early 20th century, the Texas oil boom took hold, creating tremendous economic opportunities in southeast Texas and north Texas. The growth generated by this boom largely passed by Austin at first, with the city slipping from fourth largest to tenth largest in Texas between 1880 and 1920. After the mid 20th century, Austin became established as one of Texas's major metropolitan centers. In 1970, the U.S. Census Bureau reported Austin's population as 14.5% Hispanic, 11.9% Black, and 73.4% non Hispanic White. In the late 20th century, Austin emerged as an important high-tech center for semiconductors and software. The University of Texas at Austin emerged as a major university. The 1970s saw Austin's emergence in the national music scene, with local artists such as Willie Nelson, Asleep at the Wheel, and Stevie Ray Vaughan and iconic music venues such as the Armadillo World Headquarters. Over time, the long-running television program Austin City Limits, its namesake Austin City Limits Festival, and the South by Southwest Music Festival solidified the city's place in the music industry. Geography <laughs> 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 Austin, the southernmost state capital of the contiguous 48 states, is located in central Texas. 
Austin is 160 miles (260 kilometers) northwest of Houston, 195 miles (310 kilometers) south of Dallas, and 80 miles (130 kilometers) northeast of San Antonio. In 2010, the city occupied a total area of 305.1 square miles (790.1 square kilometers). Approximately 7.2 square miles (18.6 square kilometers) of this area is water. Austin is situated at the foot of the Balcones Escarpment, on the Colorado River, with three artificial lakes within the city limits, Lady Bird Lake formerly known as Town Lake, Lake Austin both created by dams along the Colorado River, and Lake Walter E. Long that is partly used for cooling water for the Decker Power Plant. Mansfield Dam and the foot of Lake Travis are located within the city's limits. Lady Bird Lake, Lake Austin, and Lake Travis are each on the Colorado River. The elevation of Austin varies from 425 feet (130 meters) to approximately 1000 feet (305 meters) above sea level. As a result of its straddling the Balcones Fault, much of the eastern part of the city is flat with heavy clay and loam soils, whereas the western part and western suburbs consist of rolling hills on the edge of the Texas Hill Country. Because the hills to the west are primarily limestone rock with a thin covering of topsoil, portions of the city are frequently subjected to flash floods from the runoff caused by thunderstorms. To help control this runoff and to generate hydroelectric power, the Lower Colorado River Authority operates a series of dams that form the Texas Highland Lakes. The lakes also provide venues for boating, swimming, and other forms of recreation within several parks on the lake shores. Austin is located at the intersection of four major ecological regions, and is consequently a temperate to hot green oasis with a highly variable climate having some characteristics of the desert, the tropics, and a wetter climate. The area is very diverse ecologically and biologically, and is home to a variety of animals and plants. Notably, the area is home to many types of wildflowers that blossom throughout the year but especially in the spring, including the popular bluebonnets, some planted in an effort by Lady Bird Johnson, wife of former President Lyndon B. Johnson. The soils of Austin range from shallow, gravelly clay loams over limestone in the western outskirts to deep, fine sandy loams, silty clay loams, silty clays or clays in the city's eastern part. Some of the clays have pronounced shrink-swell properties and are difficult to work under most moisture conditions. Many of Austin's soils, especially the clay-rich types, are slightly to moderately alkaline and have free calcium carbonate. Topic. Cityscape Austin's skyline historically was modest, dominated by the Texas State Capitol and the University of Texas main building. However, many new high-rise towers have been constructed since the 2000s. Austin is currently undergoing a skyscraper boom, which includes recent construction on new office, hotel and residential buildings. Downtown's buildings are somewhat spread out, partly due to a set of zoning restrictions that preserve the view of the Texas State Capitol from various locations around Austin, known as the Capitol View Corridors. At night, parts of Austin are lit by artificial moonlight from moonlight towers built to illuminate the central part of the city. The 165-foot moonlight towers were built in the late 19th century and are now recognized as historic landmarks. Only 15 of the 31 original innovative towers remain standing in Austin, and none remain in any of the other cities where they were installed. The towers are featured in the 1993 film Dazed and Confused. Topic. Downtown. The Central Business District of Austin is home to the tallest condo towers in the state, with the independent 58 stories and 690 feet 210 meters tall and the Austonian topping out at 56 floors and 685 feet 209 meters tall. The independent will replace the Austonian as the tallest all-residential building in the U.S. west of Chicago when completed in 2018. In 2005, then-Mayor Will Wynn set out a goal of having 25,000 people living downtown by 2015. Although downtown's growth did not meet this goal, downtown's residential population did surge from an estimated 5,000 in 2005 to 12,000 in 2015. The skyline has drastically changed in recent years, and the residential real estate market has remained relatively strong. 
As of December 2016, there are 31 high-rise projects either under construction, approved or planned to be completed in Austin's downtown core between 2017 and 2020. 16 of those are set to rise above 400 feet 120 meters tall, including 4 above 600, and 8 above 500. An additional 15 towers are slated to stand between 300 and 399 tall. Downtown growth has been aided by the presence of a popular live music and nightlife scene, museums, restaurants, and Lady Bird Lake, considered one of the city's best recreational spots. The Second Street District consists of several new residential projects, restaurants, upscale boutiques and other entertainment venues, as well as Austin's City Hall. Across Second Street from Austin's City Hall is the new ACL Live at the Moody Theater where the long-running PBS program Austin City Limits, is filmed. It is located at the base of the new 478 feet 146 meters W Hotel. The South by Southwest is a music, film and interactive festival that occurs over five days each March in downtown Austin, and includes one of the world's largest music festivals with more than 3,000 acts playing in more than 100 venues. Topic. Climate Austin is located within the middle of a unique and narrow transitional zone between the dry deserts of the American Southwest and the lush, green, more humid regions of the American Southeast. Its climate, topography, and vegetation share characteristics of both. Officially, Austin has a humid subtropical climate under the Köppen climate classification. This climate is typified by very long, hot summers, short, mild winters, and warm transitional seasons in between. Austin averages 34.32 inches of annual rainfall and it is distributed mostly evenly throughout the year, though spring and fall are the wettest seasons. Sunshine is abundant during all seasons, with 2,650 hours, or 60.3% of the possible total, of bright sunshine per year. The summer season in Austin is very hot, and average July and August highs frequently reach the high 90s 34 to 36 degrees Celsius or above. Highs reach 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius on 116 days per year, of which 18 days reach 100 degrees Fahrenheit 38 degrees Celsius. On average, the daytime high reaches 70 degrees Fahrenheit 21 degrees Celsius or warmer every day between March 6 and November 20, rising to 80 degrees Fahrenheit 27 degrees Celsius or warmer between April 14 and October 24. The highest ever recorded temperature was 112 degrees Fahrenheit 44 degrees Celsius occurring on September 5, 2000, and August 28, 2011. An uncommon characteristic of Austin's climate is its highly variable humidity, which fluctuates frequently depending on the shifting patterns of air flow and wind direction. It is common for a lengthy series of warm, dry, low humidity days to be occasionally interrupted by very warm and humid days, and vice versa. Humidity rises with winds from the east or southeast, when the air drifts inland from the Gulf of Mexico, but decreases significantly with winds from the west or southwest, bringing air flowing from Chihuahuan desert areas of west Texas or northern Mexico. Winters in Austin are mild with cool nights. January is the coolest month with an average daytime high of 61 degrees Fahrenheit 16 degrees Celsius. The overnight low reaches or exceeds freezing 19 times per year, and sinks below 45 degrees Fahrenheit 7 degrees Celsius during 88 evenings per year, including most nights between mid-December and mid-February. Lows in the upper 30s also occur commonly during the winter. Conversely, winter months are also capable of occasionally producing warm days. On average, eight days in January reach or exceed 70 degrees Fahrenheit 21 degrees Celsius and one day reaches 80 degrees Fahrenheit 27 degrees Celsius. The lowest ever recorded temperature in the city was minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit minus 19 degrees Celsius on January 31, 1949. Roughly every two years Austin experiences an ice storm that freezes roads over and cripples travel in the city for 24 to 48 hours. When Austin received 0.04 inches one millimeter of ice on January 24, 2014, there were 278 vehicular collisions. Similarly, snowfall is rare in Austin. A snow event of 0.9 inches two centimeters on February 4, 2011, caused more than 300 car crashes and a 13-inch snowstorm brought the city to a near standstill in 1985. 
The most recent major snow event occurred on December 7, 2017, when 1 1.3 inches was recorded at Austin Bergstrom International Airport, typical of central Texas. Severe weather in Austin is a threat that can strike during any season. However, it is most common during the spring. According to most classifications, Austin lies within the extreme southern periphery of Tornado Alley, although many sources place Austin outside of Tornado Alley altogether. Consequently, tornadoes strike Austin less frequently than areas farther to the north. However, severe weather and or supercell thunderstorms can occur multiple times per year, bringing damaging winds, lightning, heavy rain, and occasional flash flooding to the city. The deadliest storm to ever strike city limits was the Twin Tornadoes Storm of May 4, 1922, while the deadliest tornado outbreak to ever strike the metro area was the Central Texas Tornado Outbreak of May 27, 1997. 2011 Drought From October 2010 through September 2011, both major reporting stations in Austin, Camp Mabury and Bergstrom International, had the least rainfall of a water year on record, receiving less than a third of normal precipitation. This was a result of La Nina conditions in the eastern Pacific Ocean where water was significantly cooler than normal. David Brown, a regional official with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, has explained that these kinds of droughts will have effects that are even more extreme in the future, given a warming and drying regional climate. Topic demographics According to the 2010 United States Census, the racial composition of Austin is 68.3% white, 48.7% non Hispanic whites, 35.1% Hispanic or Latino, 29.1% Mexican, 0.5% Puerto Rican. Rican, 0.4% Cuban, 5.1% Other, 8.1% African American, 6.3% Asian, 1.9% Indian, 1.5% Chinese, 1.0% Vietnamese, 0.7% Korean, 0.3% Filipino, 0.2% Japanese, 0.8% Other, 0.9% American Indian, 0.1% Native Hawaiian and Other Pacific Islander, and 3.4 and 2 or more races. At the 2000 United States Census, there were 656,562 people, 265,649 households, and 141,590 families residing in the city roughly comparable in size to San Francisco, Leeds, UK, and Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. The population density was 2610.4 inhabitants per square mile, 1007.9 per square kilometers. There were 276842 housing units at an average density of 1100.7 per square miles, 425.0 per square kilometers. There were 265,648 households out of which 26.8% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 38.1% were married couples living together, 10.8% had a female householder with no husband present, and 46.7% were non-families, 32.8% of all households were made up of individuals and 4.6% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.40 and the average family size was 3.14. In the city, the population was spread out with 22.5% under the age of 18, 16.6% .6 from 18 to 24, 37.1% from 25 to 44, 17.1% from 45 to 64, and 6.7% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 30 years. For every 100 females, there were 105.8 males. The median income for a household in the city was $42,689, and the median income for a family was $54,091. Males had a median income of $35,545 versus $30,046 for females. The per capita income for the city was $24,163. About 9.1% of families and 14.4% of the population were below the poverty line, including 16.5% of those under age 18 and 8.7% of those age 65 or over. The median house price was $185,906 in 2009, and it has increased every year since 2004. 
The median value of a house in which the owner occupies it was $227,800 in 2014, which is higher than the average American home value of $175,700. A 2014 University of Texas study stated that Austin was the only U.S. city with a fast growth rate between 2000 and 2010 with a net loss in African Americans. As of 2014, Austin's African American and non Hispanic white percentage share of the total population is declining despite the absolute number of both ethnic groups increasing. Austin's non Hispanic white population first dropped below 50% in 2005. The rapid growth of the Hispanic and Asian population has outpaced all other ethnic groups in the city. According to one survey completed in 2014, it is estimated that 5.3% of residents in the Austin metropolitan area identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. The Austin metropolitan area had the third highest rate in the nation. Topic: Religion. According to Sperling's Best Places, 52.4% of Austin's population are religious. Christianity is the dominant religion in the city and its largest group is the Catholic Church, 25.2%. The city's Catholic population is served by the Roman Catholic Diocese of Austin. The second largest group of Christians are Baptists 8.7%, followed by Methodists 4.3%, Latter-day Saints 1.5%, Episcopalians 1.0%, Lutherans 0.8%, Presbyterians 0.6%, Pentecostals 0.3%, and other Christians 7.1%. The second largest religion in Austin is Islam 1.7%, followed by Eastern faiths including Buddhism, Sikhism, and Hinduism 0.9%. Economy The Greater Austin Metropolitan Statistical Area had a gross domestic product GDP of $86 billion in 2010. Austin is considered to be a major center for high tech. Thousands of graduates each year from the engineering and computer science programs at the University of Texas at Austin provide a steady source of employees that help to fuel Austin's technology and defense industry sectors. The region's rapid growth has led Forbes to rank the Austin metropolitan area number one among all big cities for jobs for 2012 in their annual survey and WSJ MarketWatch to rank the area number one for growing businesses. By 2013, Austin was ranked number 14 on Forbes's list of the best places for business and careers directly below Dallas, number 13 on the list. As a result of the high concentration of high-tech companies in the region, Austin was strongly affected by the dot-com boom in the late 1990s and subsequent bust. Austin's largest employers include the Austin Independent School District, the City of Austin, Dell, the U.S. Federal Government, NXP Semiconductors, IBM, St. David's Healthcare Partnership, Seton Family of Hospitals, the State of Texas, the Texas State University, and the University of Texas at Austin. Other high tech companies with operations in Austin include 3M, Apple, Amazon, AMD, Apartment Ratings, Applied Materials, Arm Holdings, Big Commerce, BioWare, Blizzard Entertainment, Buffalo Technology, Cirrus Logic, Cisco Systems, Dropbox, eBay, PayPal, Electronic Arts, Flextronics, Facebook, Google, Hewlett Packard, Hoover's, HomeAway, HostGator, Intel Corporation, National Instruments, Nvidia, Oracle, Polycom, Qualcomm, Inc. Rackspace, Retailminot, Rooster Teeth, Samsung Group, Silicon Laboratories, Spansion, United Devices, and Xerox. In 2010, Facebook accepted a grant to build a downtown office that could bring as many as 200 jobs to the city. The proliferation of technology companies has led to the region's nickname, Silicon Hills, and spurred development that greatly expanded the city. Austin is also emerging as a hub for pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies. The city is home to about 85 of them. The city was ranked by the Milken Institute as the number 12 biotech and life science center in the United States. Companies such as Hospira, Pharmaceutical Product Development, and Arthrocare Corporation are located there. Whole Foods Market often called just Whole Foods is an upscale, international grocery store chain specializing in fresh and packaged food products, many having an organic, local, natural theme. 
It was founded and is headquartered in Austin. Other companies based in Austin include NXP Semiconductors, Goodpop, Temple Inland, Sweet Leaf Tea Company, Keller Williams Realty, National Western Life, GSD&M, Dimensional Fund Advisors, Golfsmith, Four Star Group, EZ Corp, Tito's Vodka, and Yeti. In addition to national and global corporations, Austin features a strong network of independent, unique, locally owned firms and organizations. Topic culture and contemporary life Keep Austin Weird has been a local motto for years, featured on bumper stickers and t-shirts. This motto has not only been used in promoting Austin's eccentricity and diversity, but is also meant to bolster support of local independent businesses. According to the 2010 book, Weird City, the phrase was begun by a local Austin Community College librarian, Red Wasinich, and his wife, Karen Pavelka, who were concerned about Austin's rapid descent into commercialism and overdevelopment. The slogan has been interpreted many ways since its inception, but remains an important symbol for many Austinites who wish to voice concerns over rapid growth and irresponsible development. Austin has a long history of vocal citizen resistance to development projects perceived to degrade the environment, or to threaten the natural and cultural landscapes. According to the Nielsen Company, adults in Austin read and contribute to blogs more than those in any other U.S. metropolitan area. Austin residents have the highest Internet usage in all of Texas. In 2013, Austin was the most active city on Reddit, having the largest number of views per capita. Austin was selected as the number two best big city in Best Places to Live by Money Magazine in 2006, and number three in 2009, and also the Greenest City in America by MSN. According to Travel and Leisure Magazine, Austin ranks number one on the list of cities with the best people, referring to the personalities and attributes of the citizens. In 2012, the city was listed among the 10 best places to retire in the U.S. by CBS Money Watch. In 2015, Forbes listed Austin as number one boom town because of its economic strength, including jobs among other appealing attributes. South Congress is a shopping district stretching down South Congress Avenue from downtown. This area is home to coffee shops, eccentric stores, restaurants, food trucks, trailers and festivals. It prides itself on keeping Austin weird, especially with development in the surrounding areas. Austin has been part of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network under Media Arts the category. Topic Old Austin Old Austin is an adage often used by the native citizens in Austin, Texas when being nostalgic to refer to the olden days of the capital city of Texas. Although Austin is also known internationally as the live music capital of the world and its catchphrase, slogan Keep Austin Weird can be heard echoed in places as far as Buffalo, New York and Santa Monica, CA. The term Old Austin refers to a time when the city was smaller and more bohemian with a considerably lower cost of living and better known for its lack of traffic, hipsters, and urban sprawl. It is often employed by longtime residents expressing displeasure at the rapidly changing culture. The growth and popularity of Austin can be seen by the expansive development taking place in its downtown landscape. Forbes ranked Austin as the second fastest growing city in 2015. This growth can have a negative impact on longtime small businesses that cannot keep up with the expenses associated with gentrification and the rising cost of real estate. A former Austin musician, Dale Watson, described his move away from Austin, I just really feel the city has sold itself. Just because you're going to get $45 million for a company to come to town, if it's not in the best interest of the town, I don't think they should do it. This city was never about money. It was about quality of life. Topic. Annual cultural events The O. Henry House Museum hosts the annual O. Henry Pun Off, a pun contest where the successful contestants exhibit wit akin to that of the author William Sidney Porter. Other annual events include Eeyore's Birthday Party, Spamarama, Austin Gay Pride in August, the Austin Reggae Festival in April, Kite Festival, Texas Craft Brewers Festival in September, Art City Austin in April, East Austin Studio Tour in November, and Carnival Brasileiro in February. Sixth Street features annual festivals such as the Pecan Street Festival and Halloween Night. The three-day Austin City Limits Music Festival has been held in Zilker Park every year since 2002. Every year around the end of March and the beginning of April, Austin is home to Texas Relay Weekend. Austin's Zilker Park Tree is a Christmas display made of lights strung from the top of a moonlight tower in Zilker Park. The Zilker Tree is lit in December along with the Trail of Lights, 
an Austin Christmas tradition. The Trail of Lights was cancelled four times, first starting in 2001 and 2002 due to the September 11 attacks, and again in 2010 and 2011 due to budget shortfalls, but the trail was turned back on for the 2012 holiday season. Topic. Cuisine and breweries Austin is perhaps best known for its Texas barbecue and Tex-Mex cuisine. Franklin Barbecue is perhaps Austin's most famous barbecue restaurant. The restaurant has sold out of brisket every day since its establishment. Breakfast tacos and queso are popular food items in the city. Austin is sometimes called the home of the breakfast taco. Kolaches are a common pastry in Austin bakeries due to the large Czech and German immigrant population in Texas. The Oasis Restaurant is the largest outdoor restaurant in Texas, which promotes itself as the Sunset Capital of Texas, with its terraced views looking west over Lake Travis. P. Terry's, a Austin-based fast food burger chain, has a loyal following among Austinites. Some other Austin-based chain restaurants include Amy's Ice Creams, Bush's Chicken, Chewy's, Doubleday's Pizzaworks, and Schlotzky's. Austin is also home to a large number of food trucks, with 1,256 food trucks operating in 2016. The city of Austin has the second largest number of food trucks per capita in the United States. Austin's first food hall, Fairground, features a number of Austin-based food vendors and a bar in the ground level and courtyard of one Congress Plaza. Austin has a large craft beer scene, with over 50 microbreweries in the metro area. Notable Austin area breweries include Jester King Brewery, Live Oak Brewing Company, Enland Brewing Company, and Real Ale Brewing Company. Topic. Music As Austin's official slogan is the live music capital of the world, the city has a vibrant live music scene with more music venues per capita than any other U.S. city. Austin's music revolves around the many nightclubs on 6th Street and an annual film, music, interactive festival known as South by Southwest, South by Southwest. The concentration of restaurants, bars, and music venues in the city's downtown core is a major contributor to Austin's live music scene, as the zip code encompassing the downtown entertainment district hosts the most bar or alcohol-serving establishments in the U.S. The longest-running concert music program on American television, Austin City Limits, is recorded at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Austin City Limits and C3 Presents produce the Austin City Limits Music Festival, an annual music and art festival held at Zilker Park in Austin. Other music events include the Urban Music Festival, Fun 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 Fest, Chaos in Tejas and Old Settlers Music Festival. Austin Lyric Opera performs multiple operas each year including the 2007 opening of Philip Glass's Waiting for the Barbarians, written by University of Texas at Austin alumnus J. M. Coetzee. The Austin Symphony Orchestra performs a range of classical, pop and family performances and is led by music director and conductor Peter Bay. The Austin Baroque Orchestra and La Folia Austin Baroque Ensembles both give historically informed performances of Baroque music. Topic. Film Austin hosts several film festivals including South by Southwest Film Festival and Austin Film Festival, which hosts international films. In 2004 the city was first in Moviemaker Magazine's annual Top 10 Cities to Live and Make Movies. Austin has been the location for a number of motion pictures, partly due to the influence of the University of Texas at Austin Department of Radio Television Film. Films produced in Austin include The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974, Songwriter 1984, Man of the House, Secondhand Lions, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 Nadine, Waking Life, Spy Kids, The Faculty, Dazed and Confused, The Guards Themselves, Wild Texas Wind, Office Space, The Life of David Gale, Miss Congeniality, Doubting Thomas, Slacker, Idiocracy, The New Guy, Hope Floats, The Alamo, Blank Check, The Wendall Baker Story, School of Rock, A Slipping Down Line. Life, A Scanner Darkly, Saturday Morning Massacre, and most recently, The Coen Brothers' True Grit, Grindhouse, Machete, How to Eat Fried Worms, Bandslam and Laser Team. In order to draw future film projects to the area, the Austin Film Society has converted several airplane hangars from the former Muller Airport into filmmaking center Austin Studios. 
Projects that have used facilities at Austin Studios include music videos by The Flaming Lips and feature films such as 25th Hour and Sin City. Austin also hosted the MTV series, The Real World, Austin in 2005. Season 4 of the AMC show Fear the Walking Dead was filmed in various locations around Austin in 2018. The film review websites Spill.com and Ain't It Cool News are based in Austin. Rooster Teeth Productions, creator of popular web series such as Red vs. Blue and RWBY, is also located in Austin. Theater Austin has a strong theater culture, with dozens of itinerant and resident companies producing a variety of work. The Church of the Friendly Ghost is a volunteer-run arts organization supporting creative expression and counterculture community. The city also has live performance theater venues such as the Zachary Scott Theater Center, Vortex Repertory Company, Salvage Vanguard Theater, Rude Mechanicals The Off Center, Austin Playhouse, Scottish Rite Children's Theater, Hyde Park Theater, The Blue Theater, The Hideout Theater, and Estes Follies. The Victory Grill was a renowned venue on the Chitlin Circuit. Public art and performances in the parks and on bridges are popular. Austin hosts the Fuse Box Festival each April featuring theater artists. The Paramount Theater, opened in downtown Austin in 1915, contributes to Austin's theater and film culture, showing classic films throughout the summer and hosting regional premieres for films such as Miss Congeniality. The Zilker Park Summer Musical is a long-running outdoor musical. The Long Center for the Performing Arts is a 2,300-seat theater built partly with materials reused from the old Lester E. Palmer Auditorium. Ballet Austin is the fourth largest ballet academy in the country. Each year Ballet Austin's 20-member professional company performs ballets from a wide variety of choreographers, including their international award-winning artistic director, Stephen Mills. The city is also home to the Ballet East Dance Company, a modern dance ensemble, and the Tapestry Dance Company which performs a variety of dance genres. The Austin Improvisational Theater scene has several theaters, Coldtown Theater, the Hideout Theater, the Fallout Theater, and the Institution Theater. Austin also hosts the Out of Bounds Comedy Festival, which draws comedic artists in all disciplines to Austin. Topic. Libraries The Austin Public Library is a public library system operated by the City of Austin and consists of the Central Library on Cesar Chavez Boulevard, the Austin History Center, 20 branches and the Recycled Reads Bookstore and Upcycling Facility. The APL Library System also has mobile libraries, bookmobile buses and a human-powered trike and trailer called Unbound, Sin Fronteras. The Central Library, which is an anchor to the redevelopment of the former Seaholm Power Plant site and the Shoal Creek Walk, opened on October 28, 2017. The six-story Central Library contains a living rooftop garden, reading porches, an indoor reading room, bicycle parking station, large indoor and outdoor event spaces, a gift shop, an art gallery, cafe, and a technology petting zoo, where visitors can play with next-generation gadgets like 3D printers. In 2018, Time magazine named the Austin Central Library on its list of world's greatest places. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Museums and other points of interest. Museums in Austin include the Texas Memorial Museum, the George Washington Carver Museum and Cultural Center, Thinkery, the Blanton Museum of Art, reopened in 2006, the Bob Bullock Texas State History Museum across the street, which opened in 2000, the Contemporary Austin, the Elizabeth Ney Museum and the galleries at the Harry Ransom Center. The Texas State Capitol itself is also a major tourist attraction. The Driscoll Hotel, built in 1886, once owned by George W. Littlefield, and located at 6th and Brazos Streets, was finished just before the construction of the Capitol Building. 6th Street is a musical hub for the city. The Enchanted Forest, a multi-acre outdoor music, art, and performance art space in South Austin hosts events such as fire dancing and circus-like acts. Austin is also home to the Lyndon Baines Johnson Library and Museum, which houses documents and artifacts related to the Johnson administration, including LBJ's limousine and a recreation of the Oval Office. Locally produced art is featured at the South Austin Museum of Popular Culture. 
The Mexic Arte Museum is a Mexican and Mexican-American art museum founded in 1983. Austin is also home to the O. Henry House Museum, which served as the residence of O. Henry from 1893 to 1895. Farmers markets are popular attractions, providing a variety of locally grown and often organic foods. Austin also has many odd statues and landmarks, such as the Stevie Ray Vaughan statue, the Willie Nelson statue, the Manja dinosaur, the Loca Maria Lady at Taco Express, the Hyde Park Gym's giant flexed arm, and Daniel Johnston's Hi, How Are You? Jeremiah the Innocent Frog Mural. The Ann W. Richards Congress Avenue Bridge houses the world's largest urban population of Mexican free-tailed bats. Starting in March, up to 1.5 million bats take up residence inside the bridge's expansion and contraction zones as well as in long horizontal grooves running the length of the bridge's underside, an environment ideally suited for raising their young. Every evening around sunset, the bats emerge in search of insects, an exit visible on weather radar. Watching the bat emergence is an event that is popular with locals and tourists, with more than 100,000 viewers per year. The bats migrate to Mexico each winter. The Austin Zoo, located in unincorporated western Travis County, is a rescue zoo that provides sanctuary to displaced animals from a variety of situations, including those involving neglect. The Hope Outdoor Gallery is a public, three story outdoor street art project located on Baylor Street in the Clarksville neighborhood. The gallery, which consists of the foundations of a failed multifamily development, is a constantly evolving canvas of graffiti and murals. Also known as Castle Hill, or simply Graffiti Park, the site on Baylor Street is set to be closed and demolished in October 2018. The gallery will build a new art park at Carson Creek Ranch in southeast Austin in 2019. Topic. Sports. Many Austinites support the athletic programs of the University of Texas at Austin known as the Texas Longhorns. During the 2005–06 academic term, Longhorns football team was named the NCAA Division I FBS National Football Champion, and Longhorns baseball team won the College World Series. The Texas Longhorns play home games in the state's second-largest sports stadium, Darrell K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium, seating over 101,000 fans. Baseball games are played at UFCU Dish Falk Field. Austin is the most populous city in the United States without a major league professional sports team. Minor league professional sports came to Austin in 1996, when the Austin Ice Bats began playing at the Travis County Expo Center. They were later replaced by the All-Texas Stars. Austin has hosted a number of other professional teams, including the Austin Spurs of the NBA G League, the Austin Aztecs of the United Soccer League, the Austin Outlaws in WFA football, and the Austin Aces in WTT tennis. Natural features like the bicycle-friendly Texas Hill Country and generally mild climate make Austin the home of several endurance and multi-sport races and communities. The Capital 10,000 is the largest 10K race in Texas, and approximately fifth largest in the United States. The Austin Marathon has been run in the city every year since 1992. Additionally the city is home to the largest five-mile race in Texas, named the Turkey Trot as it is run annually on Thanksgiving. Started in 1991 by Thundercloud Subs, a local sandwich chain who still sponsors the event, the event has grown to host over 20,000 runners. All proceeds are donated to Caritas of Austin, a local charity. The Austin-founded American Swimming Association hosts several swim races around town. Austin is also the hometown of several cycling groups and the disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong. Combining these three disciplines is a growing crop of triathlons, including the capital of Texas triathlon held every Memorial Day on and around Lady Bird Lake, Auditorium Shores, and downtown Austin. Austin is home to the Circuit of the Americas CODA, a Grade 1 FIA specification 3.427-mile motor racing facility which hosts the Formula One United States Grand Prix. The state of Texas has pledged $25 million in public funds annually for 10 years to pay the sanctioning fees for the race. Built at an estimated cost of $250 to $300 million, the circuit opened in 2012 and is located just east of the Austin Bergstrom International Airport. In August 2017, a new soccer-specific stadium was announced to be built between the Austin 360 Amphitheater and the Grand Plaza at Coda. 
A professional soccer team known as Austin Bold FC will start playing in the United Soccer League in 2019. The summer of 2014 marked the inaugural season for World Team Tennis Team Austin Aces, formerly Orange County Breakers of the Southern California region. Austin Aces played their matches at the Cedar Park Center northwest of Austin, and featured former professionals Andy Roddick and Marion Bartoli, as well as current WTA Tour player Vera Zavonareva. The team left after the 2015 season. In 2017, Precourt Sports Ventures announced a plan to move the Columbus Crew SC soccer franchise from Columbus, Ohio to Austin. Precourt negotiated an agreement with the city of Austin to build a $200 million stadium on public land at 10,414 McCalla Place, following initial interest in Butler Shores Metropolitan Park and Roy G. Guerrero Colorado River Park. Topic. Parks and recreation The Austin Parks and Recreation Department received the Excellence in Aquatics Award in 1999 and the Gold Medal Awards in 2004 from the National Recreation and Park Association, to strengthen the region's parks system, which spans more than 29,000 acres 11,736 hectares. The Austin Parks Foundation APF was established in 1992 to develop and improve parks in and around Austin. APF works to fill the city's park funding gap by leveraging volunteers, philanthropists, park advocates, and strategic collaborations to develop, maintain and enhance Austin's parks, trails and green spaces. <laughs> Lady Bird Lake Lady Bird Lake, formerly Town Lake is a river-like reservoir on the Colorado River. The lake is a popular recreational area for paddleboards, kayaks, canoes, dragon boats, and rowing shells. Austin's warm climate and the river's calm waters, nearly 6 miles kilometers length and straight courses are especially popular with crew teams and clubs. Other recreational attractions along the shores of the lake include swimming in Deep Eddy Pool, the oldest swimming pool in Texas, and Red Bud Isle, a small island formed by the 1900 collapse of the McDonald Dam that serves as a recreation area with a dog park and access to the lake for canoeing and fishing. The 10.1 miles Ann and Roy Butler hike and bike trail forms a complete circuit around the lake. A local non-profit, the Trail Foundation, is the trail's private steward and has made built amenities and infrastructure including trailheads, lakefront gathering areas, restrooms, exercise equipment, as well as doing trailwide ecological restoration work on an ongoing basis. The Butler Trail Loop was completed in 2014 with the public-private partnership One Mile Boardwalk Project. Along the shores of Lady Bird Lake is the 350-acre (142 hectares) Zilker Park, which contains large open lawns, sports fields, cross-country courses, historical markers, concession stands, and picnic areas. Zilker Park is also home to numerous attractions, including the Zilker Botanical Garden, the Umlauf Sculpture Garden, Zilker Hillside Theater, the Austin Nature and Science Center, and the Zilker Zephyr. A 12-in mm gauge miniature railway carries passengers on a tour around the park. Auditorium Shores, an urban park along the lake, is home to the Palmer Auditorium, the Long Center for the Performing Arts, and an off-leash dog park on the water. Both Zilker Park and Auditorium Shores have a direct view of the downtown skyline. Topic Barton Creek Greenbelt The Barton Creek Greenbelt is a 7.25-mile public green belt managed by the City of Austin's Park and Recreation Department. The Green Belt, which begins at Zilker Park and stretches south-southwest to the woods of Westlake Subdivision, is characterized by large limestone cliffs, dense foliage, and shallow bodies of water. Popular activities include rock climbing, mountain biking, and hiking. Some well-known naturally forming swimming holes along Austin's Greenbelt include Twin Falls, Sculpture Falls, Gus Fru Pool, and Campbell's Hole. During years of heavy rainfall, the water level of the creek rises high enough to allow swimming, cliff diving, kayaking, and tubing. Topic swimming holes Austin is home to more than 50 public pools and swimming holes. These include Deep Eddy Pool, Texas's oldest man-made swimming pool, and Barton Springs Pool, the nation's largest natural swimming pool in an urban area. Barton Springs Pool is spring-fed while Deep Eddy is well-fed. 
Both range in temperature from about 68.0 degrees Fahrenheit .0 degrees Celsius during the winter to about 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit .0 degrees Celsius during the summer. Hippie Hollow Park, a county park situated along Lake Travis, is the only officially sanctioned clothing optional public park in Texas. Hamilton Pool Preserve is a natural pool that was created when the dome of an underground river collapsed due to massive erosion thousands of years ago. The pool, located about 23 miles 37 kilometers west of Austin, is a popular summer swimming spot for visitors and residents. Hamilton Pool Preserve consists of 232 acres .94 square kilometers of protected natural habitat featuring a jade green pool into which a 50-foot waterfall flows. Other parks and recreation McKinney Falls State Park is a state park administered by the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, located at the confluence of Onion Creek and Williamson Creek. The park includes several designated hiking trails and cap sites with water and electric. The namesake features of the park are the scenic upper and lower falls along Onion Creek. The Emma Long Metropolitan Park is a municipal park along the shores of Lake Austin, originally constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps. The 284-acre Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center is a botanical garden and arboretum that features more than 800 species of native Texas plants in both garden and natural settings. The Wildflower Center is located 10 miles southwest of downtown in Circle C Ranch. Roy G. Guerrero Park is located along the Colorado River in East Riverside and contains miles of wooded trails, a sandy beach along the river, and a disc golf course. Covert Park, located on the top of Mount Bonnell, is a popular tourist destination overlooking Lake Austin and the Colorado River. The mount provides a vista for viewing the city of Austin, Lake Austin, and the surrounding hills. It was designated a recorded Texas historic landmark in 1969, bearing marker number 6473, and was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2015. The Austin Country Club is a private golf club located along the shores of the Colorado River, right next to the Pennybacker Bridge. Founded in 1899, the club moved to its third and present site in 1984, which features a challenging layout designed by noted course architect Pete Dye. Topic government and law topic Crime The city had 39 homicides in 2016, the most since 1997. FBI statistics show that overall violent and property crimes dropped in Austin in 2015, but increased in suburban areas of the city. One such southeastern suburb, Del Valle, reported eight homicides within two months in 2016. According to 2016 APD crime statistics, the 78,723 census tract had the most violent crime, with six murders, 25 rapes, and 81 robberies. One of the first American school mass shooting incidents took place in Austin on August 1, 1966, when a gunman shot 43 people, killing 13 from the top of the University of Texas Tower see University of Texas Tower shooting. This event led to the formation of the SWAT team. In 2010, Andrew Joseph Stack III deliberately crashed his Piper Cherokee PA-28 into Echelon 1, an IRS building housing 190 employees. The resulting explosion killed one person, excluding the pilot, injured 13, and completely destroyed the building, costing the IRS a total of 38.6 million. See 2010 Austin suicide attack. A series of bombings occurred in Austin in March 2018. Topic city government Austin is administered by an 11-member city council 10 council members elected by geographic district plus a mayor elected at large. The council is accompanied by a hired city manager under the manager-council system of municipal governance. Council and mayoral elections are nonpartisan, with a runoff in case there is no majority winner. A referendum approved by voters on November 6, 2012 changed the council composition from six council members plus a mayor elected at large to the current 10 plus 1 district system. November 2014 marked the first election under the new system. The federal government had forced San Antonio and Dallas to abandon at-large systems before 1987, however the court could not show a racist pattern in Austin and upheld the city's at-large system during a 1984 lawsuit. In five elections between 1973 and 1994 Austin voters rejected single-member districts. Austin formerly operated its city hall at 128 West 8th Street. 
Antoine Pridoc and Cotera Kohler Negrete and Reed Architects designed a new city hall building, which was intended to reflect what the Dallas Morning News referred to as a crazy quilt vitality that embraces everything from country music to environmental protests and high tech swagger. The new city hall, built from recycled materials, has solar panels in its garage. The city hall, at 301 West 2nd Street, opened in November 2004. The current mayor of Austin is Steve Adler. Law enforcement in Austin is provided by the Austin Police Department, except for state government buildings, which are patrolled by the Texas Department of Public Safety. The University of Texas Police operate from the University of Texas. Fire protection within the city limits is provided by the Austin Fire Department, while the surrounding county is divided into 12 geographical areas known as emergency services districts, which are covered by separate regional fire departments. Emergency medical services are provided for the whole county by Austin Travis County Emergency Medical Services. Topic Other levels of government Austin is the county seat of Travis County and hosts the Heman Marion Sweat Travis County Courthouse downtown, as well as other county government offices. The Texas Department of Transportation operates the Austin District Office in Austin. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice TDCJ operates the Austin I and Austin II District Parole Offices in Austin. The United States Postal Service operates several post offices in Austin. Topic: Politics. Austin is known as an enclave of liberal politics in an otherwise conservative state. So much so that the city is sometimes sarcastically called the People's Republic of Austin by residents of other parts of Texas, and conservatives in the Texas legislature. Since redistricting following the 2010 United States Census, Austin has been divided between six congressional districts at the federal level, Texas's 35th, Texas's 25th, Texas's 10th, Texas's 21st, Texas's 17th, and Texas's 31st. Texas's 35th congressional district is represented by Democrat Lloyd Doggett. The other five districts are represented by Republicans, of whom only one, Michael McCall of the 10th District, lives in Travis County. As a result of the major party realignment that began in the 1970s, Central Austin became a stronghold of the Democratic Party, while the suburbs tend to vote Republican. Overall, the city is a blend of downtown liberalism and suburban conservatism but leans to the political left as a whole. The city last went to a Republican candidate in 2000 when former Texas Governor George W. Bush successfully ran for president. In 2004, the Democrats rebounded strongly as John Kerry enjoyed a 14.0% margin over Bush, who once again won Texas. City residents have been supportive of alternative candidates, for example, Ralph Nader won 10.4% of the vote in Austin in 2000. In 2003, the city adopted a resolution against the USA Patriot Act that reaffirmed constitutionally guaranteed rights. Of Austin's six state legislative districts, three are strongly Democratic and three are swing districts, two of which are held by Democrats and one of which is held by a Republican. Travis County was also the only county in Texas to reject Texas Constitutional Amendment Proposition 2 that effectively outlawed gay marriage and status equal or similar to it and did so by a wide margin 40% for, 60% against. Two of the candidates for president in the 2004 race called Austin home. Michael Badnerick, the Libertarian Party candidate, and David Cobb of the Green Party both had lived in Austin. During the run-up to the election in November, a presidential debate was held at the University of Texas at Austin Student Union involving the two candidates. While the Commission on Presidential Debates only invites Democrats and Republicans to participate in televised debates, the debate at UT was open to all presidential candidates. Austin also hosted one of the last presidential debates between Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton during their heated race for the Democratic nomination in 2008. In the 2016 presidential election, Travis County, which contains the majority of Austin, voted for Hillary Clinton D by a 38.9 point margin, 66.3% to 27.4%. Topic: Gerrymandering A controversial turning point in the political history of the Austin area was the 2003 Texas redistricting. Before then, Austin had been entirely or almost entirely within the borders of a single congressional district what was then the 10th district for over a century. 
Opponents characterized the resulting district layout as excessively partisan gerrymandering, and the plan was challenged in court by Democratic and minority activists. Of note, the Supreme Court of the United States has never struck down a redistricting plan for being excessively partisan. The plan was subsequently upheld by a three judge federal panel in late 2003, and on June 28, 2006, the matter was largely settled when the Supreme Court, in a 7 2 decision, upheld the entire congressional redistricting plan with the exception of a Hispanic majority district in southwest Texas. This affected Austin's districting, as U.S. Rep. Lloyd Doggett's district. US. Congressional District 25 was found to be insufficiently compact to compensate for the reduced minority influence in the Southwest District. It was redrawn so that it took in most of southeastern Travis County and several counties to its south and east. Topic environmental movement The distinguishing political movement of Austin politics has been that of the environmental movement, which spawned the parallel neighborhood movement, then the more recent conservationist movement as typified by the Hill Country Conservancy, and eventually the current ongoing debate about sense of place and preserving the Austin quality of life. Much of the environmental movement has matured into a debate on issues related to saving and creating an Austin sense of place. In 2012, Austin became just one of a few cities in Texas to ban the sale and use of plastic bags. Topic education researchers at Central Connecticut State University ranked Austin the 16th most literate city in the United States for 2008. In addition, the University of Texas at Austin operates the seventh largest academic library in the nation. Austin was voted America's number one college town by the Travel Channel. Over 43% of Austin residents age 25 and over hold a bachelor's degree, while 16% hold a graduate degree. In 2009, Greater Austin ranked eighth among metropolitan areas in the United States for bachelor's degree attainment with nearly 39% of area residents over 25 holding a bachelor's degree. Topic Higher education Austin is home to the University of Texas at Austin, the flagship institution of the University of Texas system with over 38,000 undergraduate students and 12,000 graduate students. In 2019 rankings, the university was ranked 49th among national universities, 15th among public universities by US News and World Report. UT has annual research expenditures of over $600 million and has the highest ranked business, engineering, and law programs of any university in the state of Texas. Other institutions of higher learning in Austin include St. Edwards University, Houston Tillotson University, Austin Community College, Concordia University, the Seminary of the Southwest, the Acton School of Business, Texas Health and Science University, University of St. Augustine for Health Sciences, Austin Graduate School of Theology, Austin Presbyterian Theological Seminary, Virginia College's Austin Campus, the Art Institute of Austin, Southern Careers Institute of Austin, Austin Conservatory and a branch of Park University. The University of Texas System and Texas State University System are headquartered in downtown Austin. Topic public primary and secondary education The Austin area has 29 public school districts, 17 charter schools and 69 private schools. Most of the city is served by the Austin Independent School District. This district includes notable schools such as the Magnet Liberal Arts and Science Academy High School of Austin, Texas Lhasa, which, by test scores, has consistently been within the top 30 high schools in the nation, as well as the Ann Richards School for Young Women Leaders. Some parts of Austin are served by other districts, including Round Rock, Pflugerville, Leander, Manor, Del Valle, Lake Travis, Hayes, and Eanes ISDs. Four of the metro's major public school systems, representing 54% of area enrollment, are included in Expansion Management Magazine's latest annual education quality ratings of nearly 2,800 school districts nationwide. Two districts, Eanes and Round Rock, are rated gold medal, the highest of the magazine's cost performance categories. <laughs> Private and alternative education Austin has a large network of private and alternative education institutions for children in preschool 12th grade including Abrome, Ace Academy, Acton Academy, Austin International School, Austin Jewish Academy, Austin Peace Academy, the Austin School for the Performing and Visual Arts, the Austin Waldorf School, Brentwood Christian School, Cleview Sudbury School, Concordia Academy, the Griffin School, Holy Family Catholic School, Huntington Surrey, Inside Outside School, Integrity Academy, Headwaters School, High 
Hyde Park Baptist, Kirby Hall School, Longview Micro School, Paragon Preparatory Middle School, Progress School, Redeemer Lutheran School, Regent School of Austin, Renaissance Academy, San Juan Diego Catholic High School, Skybridge Academy, St. Andrew's Episcopal School, St. Austin Catholic School, St. Francis School, St. Gabriel's Catholic School, St. Ignatius Martyr Catholic School, St. Mary's, St. Michael's Catholic Academy, St. Paul Lutheran School, St. Stephen's Episcopal School, St. Teresa's, Trinity Episcopal School, and a number of Montessori schools. Along with homeschooling and unschooling communities, Austin is home to a number of part-time learning environments designed to offer basic academics and inspired mentoring. Such current resources include the Whole Life Learning Center and AHB Community School. Austin is also home to child developmental institutions including the Center for Autism and Related Disorders, the Central Texas Autism Center, Johnson Center for Child Health and Development and many more. Topic: Media. Austin's main daily newspaper is the Austin American Statesman. The Austin Chronicle is Austin's alternative weekly, while the Daily Texan is the student newspaper of the University of Texas at Austin. Austin's business newspaper is the weekly Austin Business Journal. The Austin Monitor is an online outlet that specializes in insider reporting on City Hall, Travis County Commissioner's Court, AISD, and other related local civics beats. The Monitor is backed by the nonprofit Capital of Texas Media Foundation. Austin also has numerous smaller special interest or sub-regional newspapers such as the Oak Hill Gazette, Westlake Picayune, Hill Country News, Round Rock Leader, NOKOA, and The Villager among others. Texas Monthly, a major regional magazine, is also headquartered in Austin. The Texas Observer, a muckraking bi-weekly political magazine, has been based in Austin for over five decades. The weekly community impact newspaper published by John Garrett, former publisher of the Austin Business Journal has five regional editions and is delivered to every house and business within certain zip codes and all of the news is specific to those zip codes. Another statewide publication based in Austin is the Texas Tribune, an online publication focused on Texas politics. The Tribune is user-supported through donations, a business model similar to public radio. The editor is Evan Smith, former editor of Texas Monthly. Smith co founded the Texas Tribune, a non profit, nonpartisan public media organization, with Austin venture capitalist John Thornton and veteran journalist Ross Ramsey. Commercial radio stations include K's FM, Country, KVET, Sports, KVET FM, Country, KKMJ FM, Adult Contemporary, KLBJ, Talk, KLBJ FM, Classic Rock, KTSN, Progressive Country, KFMK. Contemporary Christian, Koke FM, Progressive Country, and KPEZ, Rhythmic Contemporary. Cut FM is the leading public radio station in Texas and produces the majority of its content locally. Coop FM is a volunteer-run radio station with more than 60 locally produced programs. KVRX is the student-run college radio station of the University of Texas at Austin with a focus on local and non-mainstream music and community programming. Other listener-supported stations include Kazi Urban Contemporary, and KMFA Classical Network Television Stations. Affiliations in parentheses include KTBC Fox O and O, KVUE ABC, KXAN NBC, Chi TV CBS, KLRU PBS, KNVA The CW, KBVO My Network TV, and KAKW Univision O and O. KLRU produces several award-winning locally produced programs such as Austin City Limits, Alex Jones, conspiracist, radio show host and filmmaker, produces his talk show The Alex Jones Show in Austin which broadcasts nationally on more than 60 AM and FM radio stations in the United States, WWCR Radio Shortwave and XM Radio, Channel 166. Topic transportation In 2009, 72.7% of Austin city commuters drove alone, with other mode shares being, 10.4% carpool, 6% work from home, 5% use transit, 2.3% walk, and 1% bicycle. In 2016, the American Community Survey estimated modal shares for Austin City commuters of 73.5% for driving alone, 9.6% for carpooling, 3.6% for riding transit, 2% for walking, and 1.5% for cycling. 
The city of Austin has a lower than average percentage of households without a car. In 2015, 6.9% of Austin households lacked a car, and decreased slightly to 6% in 2016. The national average is 8.7% in 2016. Austin averaged 1.65 cars per household in 2016, compared to a national average of 1.8. Topic highways Central Austin lies between two major north-south freeways, Interstate 35 to the east and the Mopac Expressway Loop 1 to the west. U.S. Highway 183 runs from northwest to southeast, and State Highway 71 crosses the southern part of the city from east to west, completing a rough box around central and north-central Austin. Austin is the largest city in the United States to be served by only one interstate highway. U.S. Highway 290 enters Austin from the east and merges into Interstate 35. Its highway designation continues south on I-35 and then becomes part of Highway 71, continuing to the west. Highway 290 splits from Highway 71 in southwest Austin, in an interchange known as the Y. Highway 71 continues to Brady, Texas, and Highway 290 continues west to intersect Interstate 10 near Junction. Interstate 35 continues south through San Antonio to Laredo on the Texas-Mexico border. Interstate 35 is the highway link to the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex in northern Texas. There are two links to Houston, Texas Highway 290 and State Highway 71, Interstate 10. Highway 183 leads northwest of Austin toward Lampasas. In the mid-1980s, construction was completed on Loop 360, a scenic highway that curves through the hill country from near the 71, Mopac Interchange in the south to near the 183, Mopac Interchange in the north. The iconic Pennybacker Bridge, also known as the 360 Bridge, crosses Lake Austin to connect the northern and southern portions of Loop 360. Topic Tollways State Highway 130 is a bypass route designed to relieve traffic congestion, starting from Interstate 35 just north of Georgetown and running along a parallel route to the east, where it bypasses Round Rock, Austin, San Marcos and New Brownfels before ending at Interstate 10 east of Seguin, where drivers could drive 30 miles 48 kilometers west to return to Interstate 35 in San Antonio. The first segment was opened in November 2006, which was located east of Austin Bergstrom International Airport at Austin's southeast corner on State Highway 71. Highway 130 runs concurrently with Highway 45 from Pflugerville on the north until it reaches US 183 well south of Austin, where it splits off and goes west. The entire route of State Highway 130 is now complete with Last Leg, which opened on November 1, 2012. The highway is noted for having the entire route with a speed limit of at least 80 miles per hour, 130 kilometers per hour. The 41-mile section of the toll road between Mustang Ridge and Seguin has a posted speed limit of 85 miles per hour, 137 kilometers per hour, the highest posted speed limit in the United States. State Highway 45 runs east-west from just south of Highway 183 in Cedar Park to 130 inside Pflugerville just east of Round Rock. A tolled extension of State Highway Loop 1 was also created. A new southeast leg of Highway 45 has recently been completed, running from US 183 and the south end of Segment 5 of TX 130 south of Austin due west to I-35 at the FM 1327, Creedmoor exit between the south end of Austin and Buda. The 183A toll road opened March 2007, providing a tolled alternative to US 183 through the cities of Leander and Cedar Park. Currently under construction is a change to East US 290 from US 183 to the town of Manor. Officially, the tollway will be dubbed Tollway 290 with the Manor Expressway as a nickname. Despite the overwhelming initial opposition to the toll road concept when it was first announced, all three toll roads have exceeded revenue projections. Topic: <inaudible> Airports. Austin's airport is Austin Bergstrom International Airport, ABIA, IATA Code House, located 5 miles 8 kilometers southeast of the city. The airport is on the site of the former Bergstrom Air Force Base, which was closed in 1993 as part of the base realignment and closure process. Previously, Robert Mueller Municipal Airport was the commercial airport of Austin. 
Austin Executive Airport serves the general aviation coming into the city, as well as other smaller airports outside of the city center. Intercity bus service Greyhound Lines operates the Austin station at 916 East Koenig Lane, just east of Airport Boulevard and adjacent to Highland Mall. Turamex Internacional operates bus service from Austin to Nuevo Laredo and on to many destinations in Mexico. The Turamex station is located at 5012 East 7th Street, near Shady Lane. Megabus offers daily service to San Antonio, Dallas, Fort Worth and Houston from a stop at Dobie Center. Topic: Intercity Rail Service An Amtrak Texas Eagle station is located in West Downtown. Railway segments between Austin and San Antonio have been evaluated for a proposed regional passenger rail project called Lone Star Rail. However, failure to come to an agreement with the Union Pacific Railroad, the track's current owner, ended the project in 2016. Topic: <laughs> Public Transportation. The Capital Metropolitan Transportation Authority Capital Metro, provides public transportation to the city, primarily by bus. Some heavily utilized routes feature bus rapid transit, with 60-foot long, train-like, high-tech buses. Capital Metro opened a 32-mile commuter rail system known as Capital MetroRail on March 22, 2010. The system operates on existing freight rail lines and serves downtown Austin, East Austin, North Central Austin, Northwest Austin, and Leander in its first phase. Future expansion could include a line to Manor and another to Round Rock. The Metrorail system has struggled to build ridership and has faced heavy criticism for its high per rider cost to the public. Capital Metro has also explored building a light rail system to connect the Metrorail line to key destinations in Central Austin. On August 7, 2014, the Austin City Council unanimously voted to place a $600 million light rail bond proposal on the November 4, 2014 ballot. The ballot measure was voted down, and no further rail expansions have been put to voters since. Capital Area Rural Transportation System connects Austin with outlying suburbs. In summer 2018, Capital Metro began testing autonomous electric shuttles on downtown streets. The pilot program tested two driverless bus models from EasyMile and Navia on a route from the Austin Convention Center to the Austin Central Library. Capital Metro is also considering implementing full size driverless buses, likely to be included on a 2020 transportation referendum. Ride sharing Austin is served by several ride-sharing companies including Uber, Lyft, and RideAustin. On May 9, 2016, Uber and Lyft temporarily ceased operations in Austin in response to a city ordinance that required drivers for Uber, Lyft, and other transportation network companies to get fingerprint checks, to have their vehicles labeled, and to not pick up and drop off in certain city lanes. The ban was lifted in summer 2017. The city was also served by Fasten until they ceased all Austin operations in March 2018. The city of Austin is partnered with Austin B Cycle, a non profit bike sharing service with 63 stations in and around downtown for electric bicycles. In 2018, Limebike began offering dockless bikes, which do not need to be docked at a designation station. In 2018, scooter sharing companies Limebike and Bird debuted electric scooters in Austin. The city briefly banned the scooters, which were operating without a permit, until the city unveiled their dockless mobility permitting process on May 1, 2018. Dockless electric scooters and bikes are banned from Austin City Parks, the University of Texas campus, and the Ann and Roy Butler Trail and Boardwalk. For the 2018 Austin City Limits Music Festival, the city of Austin offered a designated parking area for dockless bikes and scooters. Austin is also served by Microtransit Service Chariot, along with Electric Cab of North America's six passenger electric cabs that operate on a flexible route from the Kramer Metrorail Station to Domain Northside and from the Downtown Metrorail Station and Metrorapid stops to locations between the Austin Convention Center and near 6th and Bowie Streets by Whole Foods. The city also has access to car sharing services from Car2Go and Zipcar. Cycling and walkability 
Austin is known as the most bike-friendly city in Texas, and was ranked the number seven city in the U.S. by Bicycling Magazine in 2016. The city's bike advocacy organization is Bike Austin. Bike Texas, a state level advocacy organization, also has its main office in Austin. Bicycles are a popular transportation choice among students, faculty, and staff at the University of Texas. According to a survey done at the University of Texas, 57% of commuters bike to campus. A 2013 study by Walk Score ranked Austin 35th most walkable of the 50 largest U.S. cities. More recently, Walk Score rated some Austin neighborhoods among the most walkable in Texas. Downtown Austin scored 88 points out of a possible 100, with the West Campus neighborhood scoring 87, and East Austin scoring 81. Topic. Notable people Topic. Twin towns, sister cities List of sister cities of Austin, Texas, designated by Sister Cities International Adelaide, South Australia, Australia, since 1983 Angers, Maine et Loire, Pays de la Loire, France, since 2011 Manaus, Amazonas, Brazil, since 2015 Antalya Kepas, Turkey, since 2009 Guangmyeong, Jiangxi, South Korea, since 2001 Hackney, Greater London, United Kingdom, since February 2014 Koblenz, Rhineland Palatinate, Germany, since 1991 Lima, Peru, since 1981 Mazaru, Lesotho, since 1970 Oita City, Japan, since 1990 Orlu, Imo, Nigeria, since 2000 Saltillo, Coahuila, Mexico, since 1968 Taichung, Taiwan, since 1986 Chishuangbana, Yunnan, People's Republic of China, since 1997 the cities of Belo Horizonte, Minas Gerais, Brazil and Elche, Alicante, Valencian Community, Spain were formerly sister cities, but upon a vote of the Austin City Council in 1991, their status was deactivated. Topic see also List of people from Austin, Texas List of companies based in Austin, Texas National Register of Historic Places Listings in Travis County, Texas Silicon Hills Easton Park, a planned unit development in the southeast portion of Austin South by Southwest Williamson Creek Greenbelt Topic Notes Topic References Topic Bibliography Abbott, Mary Lou 2003. Romantic Weekends Texas 2 ed. Edison, New Jersey, Hunter Publishing. ISBN 978-1-58843-358-9. Baird, David Fromers San Antonio and Austin. Hoboken, New Jersey, Fromers. ISBN 978-0-470-43789-6. Ehrlichman, Howard J. Camino del Norte, How a Series of Watering Holes, Fords, and Dirt Trails Evolved into Interstate 35 in Texas. College Station, Texas, Texas A&M University Press. ISBN 978-1-58544-473-1. Rossi, Cam, Hilton, Hillary 2009. Insider's Guide to Austin. Guilford, Connecticut, Global Pequot. ISBN 978-0-7627-4864-8. Thompson, Karen, Howell, Kathy R. 2000. Austin, Texas. Charleston, South Carolina, Arcadia Publishing. ISBN 978-0-7385-0832-0. Vines, Robert A. Trees of Central Texas. Austin, Texas, University of Texas Press. ISBN 978-0-292-78058-3. Topic further reading Long, Joshua Weird City, Sense of Place and Creative Resistance in Austin, Texas. University of Texas Press. Shank, Barry. 1994. Dissonant Identities, The Rock and Roll Scene in Austin, Texas. Hanover, New Hampshire, University Press of New England. ISBN 978-0-8195-6276-0. Swearingen, Jr., William Scott Environmental City, People, Place, and the Meaning of Modern Austin University of Texas Press, 2010 273 pages, traces the history of environmentalism in the Texas capital, which has been part of a larger effort to preserve Austin's quality of life and sense of place. Topic external links Austin, Texas. 
Gov. Official City Website Austin Convention and Visitors Bureau Austin Chamber of Commerce Historic Photographs from the Austin History Center, hosted by the Portal to Texas History Austin from the Handbook of Texas Online Geographic Data Related to Austin, Texas at OpenStreetMap. <laughs>